All right, time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss exponential functions and uh, I'll do, look at some graphing. Well, uh, I'll just example uh, exponential is not to be mistaken with um, a power function. This is uh, this is this is an example of an exponential, and this because because the x is the exponent. So that that's an example of it. And then don't be mistaken with uh, if you have let's say x to the two, this is a power function. Because yeah, the x is the base. X is at the base. The base. Okay. So yeah, that is not to be confused. So let's look at some properties. So we'll we'll have let's say f of x equals a to the x, where a is a constant. Yeah, and and this x is actually any real number. And uh, some properties of it, if x equals, let's say, 0, a to the 0 is equal to 1. And if x equals 1, basically, yeah, x, a, a to the 1 equals a. And if, it, if, a, if x is a integer, then we'll just have a to the, let's say, 2 example and this would just equal to a times a so basically and this is two terms then you would go on if it was more and if it was a rational number um rational number let's uh, you see my other video what it is basically if, if x is equal to let's say um p over q where p q are integers are integers and uh, yeah and q is greater than zero or yeah greater or just uh, not equal to zero let's go not equal to zero okay so that's what it is and then if you have that you'll just have a to the p over q and this is this could be just written as let's say square root q over this is a to the p or Q A and then to the power of P, so you could write it like that. And uh, irrational numbers, it's uh, you have to do an approximation and, and whatnot. But yeah, and if you have let's say a negative uh, number, let's say negative negative x, so we'll have let's say a to the negative x. This just equals to um, yeah one over a to the power of x. And let's say, yeah, if you were to graph something like this, and there's, if you were to graph it, let's say graphing, there's actually, uh, well, there's, there's, it's three kinds of graphs, three kinds of functions here, three kinds of types. Uh, and one of them is, let's say, let's look at one. Let's say case one is when, let's say, A is between, yeah, it's greater than, yeah, it's between uh, zero and one. For example, let's say a is uh, equal to one over two. Uh, this graph is just uh, it decreases, so it's basically it's like this. If you have this, if this is x, this is y. Yeah, and so then you'll have if if let's say towards infinity, you're gonna have well we know at one, this is at at x is actually at x is equals zero. This just equals to one. Yes, and and then yeah. So basically, if you go to x is infinity towards negative infinity, you'll have one over two to the power of let's say negative infinity, and then you flip this over. This is this would just be one over one over two infinity, uh, yeah, positive infinity, and this actually goes on top. This just equals to two infinity. So basically, it's infinity up here. So the graph goes down, it decreases, and then as if it's two infinity, one over two, yeah, it goes down and down, never hits zero. Yeah, so it's uh, this is kind of yeah, it, it goes towards zero, and never hits. So they say this is infinity, and this is zero. Okay, so uh, let's look at case two. Case two is when yeah, when you have x equals to one. And then you'll just have uh, basically a equals to basically, yeah, a, just so you'll have a to the one just equals a, so that's your function. This is going to be a horizontal line. So you'll have, let's say, 
Actually, yeah, I just made a mistake here. Uh, what I meant is, yeah, you'll have a equals to one. So a equals to one, and then this is if cross it out. This is actually this would just be one to the x, which is equals to one. And then if you have this is y, this is y, this is x. It's just going to be a horizontal line. This is one. That's a horizontal line. So now if you go to uh, case three, case three is just a is greater than one. So then yeah, we'll have a to the x, let's say example, two to the x. And then at, at when it goes negative, it, it decreases. And when it goes, yeah, and then yeah, so basically this is x, this is y. So as you see, it increases. If you have, let's say, infinity, so two to infinity is infinity. And then this is, again, one. One to zero, and then again, it, this goes to zero here, and then it, it goes all the way up like that. So that that goes to infinity, and then this goes to zero. Yeah, that's because if you have, let's say, negative infinity, so you'll have, let's say, two to the negative infinity. This equals to one over two to the infinity, and this is one divided by infinity. It is uh, goes to zero. And so now let's do an example here. Let's go uh, graph. Let's go graph y equals to three minus two x. And also, yeah, before this, let's uh, look at some properties of actually the exponents. Let's go laws of exponents. I'll just block this out. Okay, laws of exponents. I'll show a proof for. Well, I showed uh, s uh, some explanation in my previous video. So if you have something like a to the x plus y, this just equals to a x times a to the y. Okay, and if you have a x minus y, this just equals to a x over a y, a to the power of y. So now, and then if you have, let's say, a x bracket y, this, this equals to a x y. And then the last, last one will have, if you have a times b, and then they're both to the power of x, this just equals ax, b, b, yeah, bx. Yeah, I showed my other video, like, some of these, and I'll probably, I'll show this another proof why this is true, and this is, it's pretty obvious if you look at it. Okay, well, um, let's go back to this uh, graph. Let's go y equals 3 minus 2x. So, well, to graph this, and then, yeah, so if you were to graph this, first we got to look at this uh, y equals 2. Uh, we'll just break it up into this. We'll graph y equals, well, yeah, well, let's say y1 equals to 2x. So how does this graph look like? Well, if you look at it, this just looks like this is x, y. This is just like what we had before. This is just uh, increasing like this. So now that's this is uh, y1 equals 2x. So now let's look at, and yeah, now let's look at y2 equals negative 2x. So this is just a negative of this. So it's actually the mirror image, but lowered here. So all I do do negative everything here. So we're just going to go like this. So we have this. So now, yeah, so all we do is kind of look at it piece by piece. We look at this, that's, that how you, that's how you graph it. Now we look at negatives, it's going down. So now let's combine them all together so then now if you put yeah and then we'll have the, the final function we'll have x and y so now we got to do 3 minus 2x so what this actually does this just shifts it up so if you look at this one this is 0 so this is kind of saying like 0 minus 2 power of, 2 to the power of x so here we'll have three minus two to the power of x. So every all this is, if you go to a, like this value zero, all we're gonna do is add a three. So all we're doing is shifting this up, and then so it would just look like this. If we were to draw x equals this is um, yeah this is y equals three. So all we're doing is shifting this up. So we're just yeah we'll just write this down shifting up. And then this graph would just look like this. So it would go like this. So this is, yeah, this is y equals 3 minus 2x. Yeah, so that, that's kind of all that we are doing.
Yeah, well, all we're doing is shifting it up. We're having 3 minus that instead of 0 minus 2x. Well, that's a quick uh, thing on just quick explanation of exponentials and this law of exponents. I went through some of it in my other video. You could click on the link in the description. And I'll show a, a better uh, explanation of this later on. But yeah, this is how you graph it. And this is basically explanation of what it is. Uh, three different types of graphs of it. And then some properties of it. So this is basically how they're defined. This is when you see my other video why this is so. And I'll, uh, next time I'll actually show uh, what the number e is. Or y equals e to the x. Okay. This is another video. Well, thanks for uh, watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.